Hi, my name is Chris Turner and I designed and developed this training course that you've signed up for. So now I want to talk to you about step two, value stream mapping. So why do we do value stream mapping? Why is it important for a company to really embrace the idea or the concept of value stream mapping? Well, the truth is without value stream mapping, how would an organization know where to go? So for instance, if you work in an organization and you put 20 people into a room and you sat there and said to them what I want you to do is I want you to write down on a piece of paper where you think we should focus our energies and focus our resources where would it be? I can guarantee you that you'd probably get 15 to 20 different ideas about where you would need to go first so if you're in the management level or the executive management team how are you going to make that decision? Well, in step one, we talked about strategy deployment, which is really looking at where the organization needs to be in the future and what capabilities you would need to improve or increase within the organization to achieve your goal. What Value Stream Mapping does is once you've decided which areas of the organization you need to improve, you need to know what portion of that process. So for instance, if I'm looking at you know a production area in a manufacturing facility there could be 15 different areas within that production facility how do I know which one to go at first well value stream mapping would be a really good exercise to do in order to allow me to hone in to the exact areas where the most waste exists now you've got to remember this is hidden people can't see it they work with it every day but they're not looking for waste or muda so value stream mapping really focuses in. So the st strategy deployment actually brings us into the kind of 50,000 foot version. What the value stream mapping does, it takes you down to 25,000 feet and even further. And you're getting a more um, a micro view of what uh, you're really working on. So you're moving down closer into where the waste exists. Now the wonderful thing about value stream mapping is you can do all this as a paper exercise with very little impact to the production area. So you do it all on paper and the team works together, comes up with a solution, puts an implementation plan together and then that can be presented to a steering team or an executive management team, whoever it is that's going to be controlling your uh, process improvement program. And what you can do then is then get them to commit and say look this is a really good process it looks like we're going to improve things really well and everybody's working from really good data instead of it being based on opinion because what we've got to do in continuous process improvement is really eliminate opinion because everybody's got one and some of them are right but most of them are wrong so that's one of the key things about taking the emotion out of it and really working from data so that's really what value stream mapping does. Helps you to map that process out, to look at it graphically on a piece of paper and really come to a, a level of uh, knowledge about that process so you can really make good decisions as to whether it makes sense to improve that process or not. And remember, the thing that you're going to commit to that is your most important resource which is employees that's their time their energy and this is all money so you want to make sure that those people's times are being committed in the best way to get the best bang for the buck and that's what value stream mapping really does